Hey guys, and welcome back to Spyro. In the last last time we left off, we did Lofty Castle, and now we need to do right. Right, yeah, we did the boss as well, second to last boss. We also need to go back to Haunted Towers because we need to get the blue wizard's hat, which is actually another very well hidden um, trophy, to be honest. It's very sly, and I believe uh, I looked that one up as well. Uh, back along when this game first came out. So let's go grab that now. Let's get out of here. In fact, I think I looked up like most of these, to be honest. If I, uh, it's kind of hard to remember now, but some of these skill points are really sly. And those guys as well, hiding around the corners, really do kick you right in the fucking sacks, don't they? Which is a pain in the arse. Now, luckily, I don't think we actually have to complete the level. I think we can just go and get the wizard's hat and then exit. I think as soon as you get the skill point pop up, I think you've got it then. Which makes sense. You don't really need to go through all the bullshit of finishing a level if you've uh, you know got the skill point. Okay. Yeah, level 100% complete. I find that interesting. I think it would have been cool if it would... Uh, that 100% level completion wouldn't pop up if you've missed a skill point on the level. Because, I don't know, I just think that, that would have been a little, a little bit of uh, polish that they could have added. Anyway, another very minor gripe, to be honest. Because technically the level isn't 100% complete. If you've missed that. Okay. Now we want to go this way. Take the ride. And we don't need to do anything major because of course... We've already got everything here. Now... Where are you? Yeah. So the wizard's hat is actually right on top of that castle there and it's a frustrating little flight to get it if i remember correctly i wouldn't mind actually to get some more fire breath just so we can take some of those uh, big guys out so i don't like where they're positioned of course we only have one bit of health left as well which is really not fantastic to be honest Right, let's open these lot up. Let's see if we can get back to those critters. Don't really want to die. Eh, that should be fine, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Fuck it. Good enough. If it's good enough, that's all that matters. Doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, so. We want to head right up there. It's a very tricky one actually to be honest i'm not sure how you're you're without looking it up i'm not sure how you would really see it um and i believe we can get it from up here yeah we can there you go you can just see it nestled in there it's not the easiest thing in the world to see mind you but it's even harder to get you have to get this jump absolutely perfect luckily enough if you do miss the jump you don't have to go too far back which is nice it's not like you only have one shot at this. I think that's what I like about these levels. Uh, a lot of the challenges in this game, they're not stupidly uh, impossible, you know. They're not there to just piss you off. Like in some games. Alright, so that's that. We should now be able to exit the level. And uh, not exactly exit the entire game, but sure, that works too. I wonder if it's going to drop us back into that level. Probably. The adventure continues. It does indeed. It does indeed. Yep, 
Yep, it's going to put us straight back here. Do we still have the skill points? We should do. Yep, so we've just got to get perfect on Nasty Nork. Now, as a boss... Why did I do that? As a boss, Nasty Nork's actually really freaking easy. There are definitely harder bosses in this game, but that's it's not really saying much in the context for this game. Uh, because pretty much that's what we want exit level. Pretty much all of the bosses are, you know, a cakewalk. Now, I don't know how that holds up in the later games, obviously. I'm guessing they made some... Have I actually done any bosses in Spyro 2? I don't think so. But then, as I said, I think uh, I got about 9%. Nine, yeah, about 9% into Spyro 2. Alright. So, Icy Flight is all that stands between us and Nasty Nought's world. Oh boy. Let's go Spyro. Icy Flight. Uh, and we are, as I said before, there are some achievements that we haven't got that we will get. Because, I mean, they shouldn't be too hard to get. I've got all the platinum trophies for this on the PlayStation, so. And, of course, Nintendo doesn't have any kind of trophy or achievement system, which I think is really shitty. I do like to have trophies and achievements. It's a nice little, uh, I don't know, just a little something extra. Uh, it's fun. You know, for people who like it, it's there. For people that aren't into trophy hunting and whatnot you don't have to pay any attention to it i just think it's a cool little feature oh god that was bad Oof. oh you know what fuck that guy <laughs> fuck that guy we're out ah shit i got the wrong pissing way as well am i because of course i have fuck you got ya nice now let's go We're going to go to Icy Flight, which is the final, final area. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a ball buster of an area, but, you know, I guess beggars can't be choosers. We have to 100% this game. Well, technically, you have to get 120% in this game. I think all the Spires are like that. There's always that hidden 20%. Entering icy flight. Oh god, I hate these flying levels. I really do. And you watch like other people do it, and they make them look so trivial, so easy. And then there's Captain Fucking Birdbrain here that just cannot manage. Okay. Also. We're not allowed to land. Need to make that fairly clear. Because if we land... I fucked up my... Yeah, I have. Now, I don't know... Yeah, I did kind of balls it up. I don't know if hitting the wall actually counts as you landing or not. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure... It doesn't. Your feet actually have to touch the ground, which makes sense. Okay, so. On to the next. Now, I like these little helicopter dudes. There's something about them that tickles me in all the right places. This kind of weird um, Nork technology. Very reminiscent of orcs from Warhammer. Wouldn't be surprised if there's some inspiration there, to be honest. Right, so that's all the trains. Yeah, thinking about it, I think this is actually the easiest one. Now, did we get the achievement? That's the important thing. We did. Holy fucking shit. 40, 40 points for that? Okay, that was actually... Really bloody easy. 
I was expecting to be stuck on that for a good time. Cool. Quit. It was quite a sloppy run, to be honest. But we did it. Let's go. So Dreamweaver was uh, quite an easy mission, actually. Quite an easy world. And as I said, that's my favorite world in the game. It really is. But we have one left. Nasty Norks world. Nasty Norks world is also uh, it's, it's a very different animal. Uh, it's not like any of the other worlds. Uh, you can't just complete the missions in whatever order you want. Oh, you dick. You, there's a very specific way of doing things. But, you know, it's not too, it's not too bad. Now, on the original PlayStation version of this game, Nasty Norks men actually had machine guns and rifles and things. Uh, they've actually changed that for this remake. They use paintball guns instead. Well done, Spyro. I hope you know what lies in store for you. Uh, yes. Yes, I do. This world is not the friendliest place you'll ever find. You True that. Well, let's go. Last piece of the dragon world. Well, technically the dragon world is now free of tyranny and bullshit. We just got to go kick nasty Nork in the sacks. And then round up the last few achievements, and then that's a wrap. So I'm guessing uh, Spyro 2 and 3 are significantly longer games, because, you know, you can easily finish this game in, say, three hours. Like, if you just shotgun through it, it can be done. Four hours, for sure. I wonder what the world record, actually, is the speed run. I might look that up. So here we are, Nasty Nork's world. As you can see, it is uh, different. It is very small. <laughs> very small. It's just this one little platform. And we have rats here. We're going to feed on the rats. We can't even 100% uh, the world. Because a lot of the treasure is locked in these mouths here. And you have to do these in order. So, yeah, it, it's a very different animal. Nope, we're going to stay here, my friend. We've got a job to do. We're going to bend Nasty Nork over. Right. Delbin. Hey, buddy. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Ah. Uh. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Yeah. Bit a bit weird that in all the other games, uh, all the other worlds I should say, you can if you want, you can go straight to a world boss. But here, in Nork Gnexus, I guess. Yeah, we have to do things in a very certain way. So we have to get perfect on him. Now, what was the achievement? Um, yeah. So we've got a complete wild flight without touching the ground. I actually think that's one of the hardest achievements, to be honest. Right, so complete uh, Nork Cove without killing any rats. So, whoops. So, um, yeah. Essentially, we have to get through this without being killed, which... Well, actually, I suppose if you get killed, it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. Probably quite an easy achievement, to be fair. You just have to be very careful not to accidentally flame uh, any any rats. But there's only four levels on this uh, in this world. As opposed to the five in the others. At least I think there's five. Yeah, five. Because you have three normal worlds, you have a flight world, and then you have a boss world. Or level, I should say. Okay. Technically, there is a hidden flight level. But... It's not quite what you'd think. It's fun, though. Now, you can see the style for Nasty Norks area is very different. It's a very different... Uh, not art style, but uh, it's a very different vibe going on here. It's very industrial. 
I actually like it. I really like it. And in fact, um, I think I like it a little bit more in the original PlayStation version because it was grimier and grittier and just it's it just dirty, you know? All right, let's flame these TNT bottles or barrels, I should say. Yeah, just something, you know, with the old PlayStation uh, graphics looking very muddy and just blocky. Uh, uh, and I think the PlayStation graphics were very fitting as well to horror games. Because the resolution was so low in the game, you know, it was so blurry. It, like, added to that horror element. Okay. Let's go. Which is why Silent Hill, you know, the original Silent Hill still has a very unnerving atmosphere. And it is down to the PS1's visuals. You know, the fact that you had all that fog obscuring everything. Right, let's take as many of these guys out from range as we can. Can we actually punt that over? Uh, yes. Yes, we can. Right, I'll have you. Oh, shit. We fucked up. We fucked up. We fucked it. We've, we've already fucked it. Right. Come on. There we go. Now, obviously, you cannot charge TNT barrels. At least, I'm pretty sure you can't charge TNT barrels. If you flame them, you get a countdown timer. There we go. But if you charge them, I think they explode instantly in your face, which... You know, if you do that, you're going to have a bad time. There we go. Excellent. So, what have we got? We've got 400 treasure and two dragons, which isn't too bad. Now, remember, um, if you just accidentally flame a rat, that will fuck your chances for the achievement. So, yeah, you have to be very careful. Oh, dude. <laughs> yes. You know, Spyro, I, it sounds weird, but I always thought Spyro and... Oof, see what I mean? These rats are everywhere. Spyro and Sonic have a lot in common. You know, the whole attitude. And the whole um, kind of character design, I suppose, is very similar. A mature kind of rebellious, overly confident character. That was to... Oh, shit. See that rat there? Fuck you, you... I died because of the rat. I died because of the rat. Fucking rat. Um, yeah, the whole design philosophy around them was, was very similar. Apart from Sonic's whole thing was, it gotta go fast. Whereas Spyro is just, you know, collect everything and burn everything to death. But the actual personalities of the two characters is, is very similar. They're just from two different times. And they're both products of their time as well. You can really see that uh, Spyro is definitely um, <laughs> an early noughties kind of design. Close to the turning. Actually, when did Spyro come out? I think he was... Yeah, it was late 90s, wasn't it, Spyro? Was he an early PlayStation... I think it was quite a late PlayStation uh, 1 release, actually. Thinking about it. I want to say 1998. So I guess, really, uh, Sonic and Spyro were around in the same decade. Because Sonic was 1993, I believe. No, 1991, actually. Memory serves. So, Spyro was only actually five or six years after Sonic. You know, the 90s was such a bizarre time for video games. You know, the, the, the growth we had between uh, 1990 with 8-bit machines up to the turn of the millennium where the Dreamcast launched, it was, you know, mental amounts of visual progress. Yeah, we've never seen anything like that since. We're never going to see anything like that again, either. That was just mad. People say how rapidly technology is changing at the moment and how fast, 
you know, computer components getting faster. But man, holy shit, back in the 90s, like every every three months, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, every six months things were getting radically um, faster. It was just ridiculous. But then you had more processor manufacturers as well. And you had more video card manufacturers. Remember Cyrex CPUs? Remember those? You know, you had Intel, you had AMD, and you had Cyrex. I remember those days because we had a Cyrex, uh, what was it, 233 megahertz CPU, which actually was how I played Half-Life, the original Half-Life. I mean, it was fucking AIDS, uh, <laughs> like 15 frames a second if you was lucky. And then I got my Pentium 2. 400 megahertz. It was a fucking animal at the time. And then I managed to play Half-Life 2 at 25 frames a second. So I had some shitty video card. I can't remember what it was. Wow! I never thought I'd be rescued! Especially by such a little dragon! Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro! Nah. You gotta believe! <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, Spyro. Something like that. Right, let's keep going. Yeah, memory was one that really uh, advanced quite a lot in the early 2000s as well. I remember when I got my... Yeah, I had a Pentium 2, and it had 32 megs of RAM. And that was pretty mental for the time. And then, like, six months later... I had a friend that had a... He had a Pentium 2 as well. And he had like 64 megs of RAM. And it's like, holy shit. It, like, the amount of RAM had doubled in, in like six months. And then I had a friend who had a Pentium 3, which was like 800 megahertz. Which, we, yeah, that's right. Because I got my computer at the beginning of the year. Uh, there we go. That game clip is just uploaded. So... A th 32 megabyte or 33 megabyte game clip took nearly an hour to upload um, yeah and then my friend at the end of the year got this Pentium 3 800 megahertz machine that had 128 uh, gigs of RAM uh, megs of RAM sorry gigs so if you think about the rate of uh, improvement in a year Jesus I mean 8 to 16 gigs of RAM has been like standard now for well, I don't know seven eight years right okay don't think we can smash that one open no we can okay nice all right now I don't think we've killed any rats ah shit there's rats there ah fuck off your bottom feeders Okay, they survived. Yeah, I always remember um, the plant boss in Half-Life, the original Half-Life, trying to do that. Where you have to turn the gas, uh, the water and the oxygen on and fry the plant in the blast zone. In trying to do that at 10 frames a second, it wasn't fun, but I fucking did it. Okay, so we're almost there. We almost have all of our gems. I don't think we've killed a rat. I hope we haven't killed a rat. Oh, you bastard. I thought we could jump onto the top of... Onto that barrel, but apparently not. I'm pretty sure on the PlayStation you could jump on those barrels. I might be wrong. Ah, oh, you son of... That's fine. That's fine. Okay. There we go. Right, once more we're feeling, eh? Ah, do you like this TNT <laughs> barrel explosion there? So satisfying, man. Now, I don't know if those guys actually can kill rats, or if it's just us that can kill rats. I'm not sure how that works exactly. I guess we're going to find out. Right, those guys are done. We need to get to the other side of this. 
your destination fucked, mate. Right, there we go. Oof. That's so sketchy. Right, not bad. Not bad. Not brilliant, but we'll take it. A win is a win, I guess. Right, we don't want to go up there yet. Shit. So that's going to take us to the end of the level. Fuck. That's premature. Uh, no, that's no, that's fine. We can recover. Ooh. There we go. Without killing any rats. Rare achievement. Why is that a rare achievement? Hmm. Um, cool. Notice how we actually didn't complete the level, though. It's really weird. So now we're still playing the level and we can kill rats. Really strange the way they've got the trigger points for the achievement set up. It is really odd. But unfortunately, apparently, we have missed eight gems somewhere, which is a fuck factor that I thought we might run into. Because we always seem to run into that fuck factor. Careful. So, which little bastard, oh, that's going to hurt, has my gems? I bet it's some little tosser all the way back at the beginning of the level, isn't it? Ah, uh, god damn it. Well, this isn't the first time this has happened to us, and, uh, well, I would say it's probably not going to be the last, but we actually don't have many levels left, so there's a good chance that we might not run into this just issue again. Uh, trying to think, is there any little areas that I've missed? I don't think so, but I guess there must be. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's probably going to be around here somewhere. Ah, right, of course. Well, I'm a fucking moron, but then you guys knew that already. Okay, eight gems, nice. I like it when it's something simple, to be fair. That could have been really complex. And I could have been like running around this level for about 7,000 years trying to find it, but nope, we're good. We're good. It's all gravy, baby. Now, let's get out of here. So, that's 100% complete. Yes, not bad. Not bad at all. For some reason, though, I did think not killing a rat was going to be harder than that. I was kind of uh, imagining... The rats getting killed in the explosions of all the barrels and shit, but that doesn't actually appear to be something that can happen, which is nice. Me likey. You know what? Just because we can, you guys can get fucked. Oop. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Now, the next level is... Yeah, the next level is really fun, actually. Um, there is a super boost ramp, but it only has, like, one application, and it's a really, like, basic application. So, you know, Twilight Harbor, here we go. I really like Twilight Harbor, and I think this is the one that has the cogs. Uh, yeah, Twilight Harbor. Destroy the six gears. i got to try and remember where they are. Now, <laughs> the thing is, um, these achievements, I don't think... I'm trying to think about the cogs. I don't think the cogs are actually even in the Switch version, thinking about it. So I remember looking around for the cogs, but they're not there. But the only reason they're in the PlayStation and Xbox version is for an achievement. Now, obviously, you don't get achievements on the Switch version, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. Right. Now, these are the guys that have had their guns taken away, and they now have these very Splatoon-esque paintball guns. Okay. Okay. I try and remember where these bloody ooh you naughty little sausage. Now I have a feeling that there is a cog out here somewhere. I know there are 
somewhat well hidden. They are quite sly. Okay, that's fine. You know, as long as we don't finish the level, we'll be able to find them all. This level is quite a long one, as you can see as well. It's fairly straightforward. Now, I don't... Ooh, I don't think those gunners are as hard as they were in the PlayStation version. I think the PlayStation, they had a more vicious arc to them. And the projectiles moved faster. Or at least they had like a bigger arc or something. Whereas, yeah, they're, they're really not much to worry about here. So, let's have a look, shall we? No, there's no cogs around here. Okay, so now I know there's one out here somewhere. I remember. Oh, you fucker! I didn't even see that cunt standing there. All right, there we go. Or him, for that matter. Too busy looking for cogs. All right. Okay. I know there's one out here somewhere. I can smell it. Hey, Cosmos. That's a badass name for a dragon. I like it. Right, let's go around here. Oh, God. Okay, he's throwing barrels at me. Couldn't see the barrel. I'm sure there's a cog here somewhere. Damn, son. Definitely should have run into one by now, I think. Hmm. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is. We'll keep moving forwards. Now, I know there's one in this room. It is behind one of these pumper jigs. There it is. There's one. That's what we're looking for. They're really small, really slightly hidden cogs. Okay, so that's one. Ow, you bastard. They're very uh, accurate with those barrels, aren't they? They did such a great job of animating all these enemies in this remake. They really did. Right. Now, we want to move that up. Uh, cog, cog, cog. No cog. Alright, let's flame some rats, because we need the health. I guess we can go for the super jump. Might as well do that one now. They really are throwing lives at us, aren't they? It wouldn't be that hard to actually get a um, hundred lives in this game, I don't think. In fact, I think that's a very realistic uh, target. So, cogs, cogs, cogs. Hmm. Yeah, very sus that we've only found one so far. Now, that's the only use on this level for the super jump, I believe. That's the only time we're going to use it. Um, ah, yeah, there's a life up there as well. Let's go grab the life just for fucking shits and giggles. Because no, no point leaving it for the roaches, I guess. Oh, our happy-go-lucky rat friends are back. Nice. Yeah, so what's that? Like, three lives? The thing is, like, Nork's uh, Nexus isn't even hard. You'd expect, considering it's, you know, um, the final area, essentially, that the difficulty would dramatically ramp up, but it doesn't. Or maybe that's because I've played this game about 650,000 times. I don't know. Right. Oh! Actually, I'm talking bollocks again, guys. I'm filling your head with lies. Uh, there is actually another reason we need this super jump. And that is because there's no key on this level. Yes. Don't listen to me. And we need to charge all the way fucking down. Jesus. Oh, no. Spyro. Oh, Spyro. You, you're such a disappointment. You've let your family down. That was tragic. That was actually sad. Alright, once more we're feeling. At least we can fill up on rats on the way. 
There we go. Well, that was pathetic. Hero dragon my ass. Alright, once more. I suppose, actually, we could make this easier, thinking about it. You probably could jump through that. Yeah, as long... Oh, well, I don't know. Actually, nah, I don't think it would work very well. I think it would actually be harder to jump up through that way and over. Yeah, nah, fuck that. Okay, so they're the two uses for the super jump on this level. Hey, look at that. Cletus. Be on the lookout for North Commando, Sparrow. They better be on the lookout for me. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with Spyro here. Oof. There we go. Looks like those Nort Commandos are doing a good job of killing themselves, which is good. I like it when they kill themselves. Saves me the job. There we go. Get fucked. Now, uh, I'm sure there was a cog around here somewhere. I'm trying to remember back to when I played this on the original PlayStation. Uh, on the original PlayStation. On the uh, PlayStation 4. They are very well hidden. You know, you can't say they're not. You would have thought they're easy to find, but oh, really, game? That was a bullshit hitbox. Ow. Yeah, they've just got such a kill zone set up that that really hurts. Poor Spyro. Okay, so ah. Nope, I thought there was a cog on the floor there. You see how sly it is? Hmm. Ah, there's one. Right, so that's two. Only found two so far. Oh, God. Oh, God. Piss off, pal. Ow. Uh, let's go back and get some rats. On the way back, we can have a little eyeball. See if we can find any more cogs. We have definitely have missed some. There's no doubt about it. Because we're pretty much at the end of the level and we found two. I mean, they are... They're not exactly in plain sight, but... Damn. They really are well hidden. Lie. Bad bro. Right, let's get out of here. I'm sure there was one around here as well, but again, I'm obviously wrong. Hmm, son of a bitch. And I was almost positive there was a cog out here somewhere. Which is pissing me off. You know, coming into this level, I was like, yeah, pretty confident I can find them all. Pretty much remember where they all are. Nope. You are wrong. You have to check these dark corridors as well, or these dark corners. Because the uh, toys for Bob, you know, these developers, they're sly. They really are sly. Ah, look at that. See what I mean? See what I mean? Now that is pure grade A bullshit. Dirty fucking bastards hiding it there. Right, that's three. Three down, three to go. Now, there's possibly one or two further along. But I'm still thinking we've missed them. I'm definitely thinking we've missed them. And this leads us back out to the beginning. Yeah, okay. So we've, we've come full circle. And we've got three. So, fine, Ooh. almost, almost singed uh, Spyro's bollocks off. Right, fair enough. What about around here? Mm-hmm, 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 all right. Kind of a weird thing as well, like cogs. Not really sure why 
it's cogs and not something else. But I suppose, like, you know, when we had the flame the shrooms in Beast Makers, that made sense. But cogs is a little, little harder to... <laughs> to reason with, you know, why? Why are we burning cogs? But hey, I'm just overthinking shit again. Because that is what we do. Nope, that's not fair. Okay, fine. Let's move on. Ah, oh, look, the bloody rats aren't coming back. What's up with that? I was gonna say they only respawn X amount of times, but we know that's not true. We know they respawn pretty much infinitely. I think the triggers, the trigger points for the game is just a little bit weird in places. We're just going to have to be bloody careful. But we're always careful, so, you know. Alright, this is a nasty, nasty area right here. That we're... <laughs> I knew he was going to get hit. I knew he was going to get hit. As soon as we said we have to be careful, you knew you're fucked. Ugh. It's like when you're playing Halo and you're tied for the lead and there's one kill left. And yeah, everyone's like, don't die, don't die. As soon as some twat says don't die over the mic, you die. Ugh. The gaming gods are not kind this day. Well, that's, I guess, why we have, like, nearly 100 lives, I suppose. And we've lost a few as well. Right, there we go. Get out of here. Oof, that could have been, could have been dodgy there. Right, so. There's definitely got to be at least one cog around here. Yeah, there's one. So is that like four now? God damn it, I'm gonna have to look these up off camera, aren't I? So we've found four. We've got everything else. See, level 100% complete, but it's not. Not 100% complete. Right, I'm gonna pause this, guys, and I will come back when I found the cogs. Well, we've got one literally staring us right in the face as I go back to explore the level. God damn it. Because of course we have. Right, one second. And the other one is just through the room there. Really freaking slightly hidden. Come on, that's got to be all of them. That has to be all of them. Is there one more left? Was that five or was that six? Fuck me, I feel like Dirty Harry. Let's go touch the ending platform. Might actually, yeah. Might have to go stand next to Return Home. For the achievement to pop. Really? Alright, one second guys. And I'm hoping this is the final one tucked in there. There we go. That should be. Wait a minute. Seriously? There's another one? Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I guess the search continues. Right, I think this is our culprit. I think I missed it. Maybe? No, I definitely got it. Not sure why the achievement hadn't popped, to be honest. I'm getting the feeling something's bugged. Um, I don't know if these things like respawn after a while. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all, to be honest. Hmm. It's also a very long video. We're on like 40 odd minutes. 
so if I if I like leave this area and come back, is that cog gonna have respawned? Which is really freaking annoying. I have a feeling that's what's happening here, guys. Um because there was another cog as well that I'm pretty confident that I got that was back. Uh, and it was... No, that one's still gone. I've totally lost count how many we've got as well. So, that's that. This is going to be a very long video, but, you know, I wouldn't tell anyone if you don't... Right, let's go all the way back now and see if that one by the ramp has actually come back. If it has, that's a definitely a bug and I'm going to have to redo this level. Which isn't a problem, but it's definitely irritating, to say the least. Because there's what, that one in that corner that we've got. And these rats are now respawning, uh, as they should. Which was weird, because they actually stopped respawning for a while. No. Okay, so now it's actually disappeared. Interesting. Okay, right. So, I believe... This one actually should be the last one. And that was the worst job I've ever done counting to six in my life. There we go, Jesus Christ. Took it a while to pop, didn't it? Oh, come on, Spyro. Stop fucking around. There we go. Ah, that was a bastard, wasn't it? To be fair, they are very well hidden. So, kudos to the programmers that actually made that one semi-challenging. Very slightly hidden. And we need to go get healed up. And this video is like the best part of an hour long. Which, <laughs> holy shit. I didn't even realise it was so long. Damn, brother. Right, so let's get back. And we are so close now. Returning to Nork Nexus. Now, I think, yeah, we're actually on Nasty Nork. We are literally, <laughs> there we go, they've 100%ed the overworld. And we literally only have Nasty Nork left. So the next video, as long as I don't fuck things up spectacularly, will actually be the last video of this game. So, thanks for watching guys, and as always, till next time.